Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> um, as you can see uh, in the name, I did the name change. So I took my own personal name out of there and I'll leave it in the description of my channel. And um, this is kind of what I've decided to go with for now and we'll see what happens with it. Maybe I won't like it. Maybe I'll have to change it again. Uh, so White North Forge and Prairie Life, um, I think kind of sums up and kind of what we're doing here so tonight we're just out in the uh, workshop again and I'm going to jump in on this 2021 seed challenge or whatever it is that it's called I'll leave a hashtag up here um, I just got started by Scott Head at uh, Black Gumbo Southern Gardening yeah that's that's it and um, you take a seed, um, you germinate it however you want, you sow it, and then you follow it through um, until you harvest it. And the only really stipulation is is that it has to be harvested in 2020. A couple of the guys that I follow, um, uh, Roland over at Getting It Done North of Seven. I think he just actually did a video um, today even. I'll put a link up here. To that video and Mark over at Arkansas Woodcutter and I believe that he is on his third attempt at this which is it's gardening I mean it's hit and miss anyways so um, we're gonna give this a go so I'll flip this around I'll take you over to the bench um, my updates are gonna be pretty quick for the first little bit because I'm gonna do a couple of different things I'm not just gonna throw the thing in the dirt um, so I'm gonna try some different stuff to get this thing cooking and or get it growing not cooking we'll cook them at the end of the at the end of the year so we'll see what happens there anyways I'll flip you around here enjoy the rest of the video it's gonna be very short today and updates to come all right so we're over here at the workbench um, I got my pot I got my seeds I got my little germination bag that I'm gonna use um, I got a little aluminum can here a little half cans because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna warm up some water in there I'm going to leave it under my uh, radiant heater on the bench um, just on a very low heat overnight just so that I can try and keep that water at about 80 degrees um, and then tomorrow I'm going to wrap that thing up in some wet paper towel put it in this bag germinate it for a couple of days and then I'll actually get it into the pot um, with my special mix of dirt here that I've already got ready and that's gonna basically be it for today so I'll just rip out a couple of seeds here oh yeah I guess I should show you what exactly I'm doing yellow beans okay so yellow bean seeds they're a hard shelled seed so they need to be soaked and um, I think the longer you can soak them the better so I think we're sitting here at about seven o'clock Mountain Standard Time so if I let these so let this soak overnight that should be plenty of time it'll be just about 12 hours and uh, then we can take it and we'll put it in the bag wrapped in wet paper towel put that in the dark for two days maybe three depending on it we'll check it every day and we'll see but I'll give you a we'll do a quick little video at the end before I put it in the dirt um, of what day and how long it took to actually get the plant started. So I've got this radiant heater that sits over top of my workbench. Um, I turn it on in the daytime just to take the chill off in here in the morning. So I'll turn this down just so that the one is going and uh, it's close enough and it's obviously it's radiant so that that aluminum should stay nice and warm. I just actually lit my forge for a second and set it out front there. You know, the aluminum is a great conductor of heat, so it warmed up pretty fast. So now I'm going to pick a seed. So out of these seeds here, I kind of like that one and that one. Why? I don't know. I guess because they're the biggest, fattest ones in the group. So this one looks like it's got a crack in it. So I'm not going to use that one. So this will be the one that I'm going to use. And we'll let 
let that soak in the water overnight. And then we'll come back in the morning and carry on. So just back out here in the shop this morning. For my coffee. It's been about oh, 10 and a half hours, I guess. Maybe not quite. And we'll pull this thing out of here. Ah, the lifeblood of morning. And we're just going to wrap it in some paper towel. Put it in the bag and let it sit. It's a great big piece days. of shop towel here, but I'm just going to dump this out on here and get this all wet. Might as well reuse that water. There's nothing wrong with it. Just use that towel to soak all that up. Still nice and warm. Just trying to make sure that every bit of that towel is damp. You can already feel that that seed is softer. Like you don't hear it clunking in there. Right. So definitely know that it's doing its job there. Alright. <clears throat> so a little gardening origami here. <laughs> All right, dump the seed out, put that in the middle. Now you can see that, Let's see if we can focus in on it. The end actually broke overnight. So I think this one, that was a good pick. I think that was a good pick. So we're just gonna fold that up. Okay, there we got it. We're gonna leave this end of the bag open because everything needs air. I'm gonna put my finger in there. So just leave that open a little bit. Everything needs a little bit of air. We'll let that thing germinate for a couple of days. All right, so it's time to sow this bad boy. So I need a pot, a special mix of dirt. Do you know why it's special? I'll tell you, deer poop. They go right through our yard every night. Probably 12 of them. And they leave us presents almost every night. So I put deer poop in my dirt. Works good. Anyways, it's not a secret. Lots of people use rabbit poop. And they don't know why. They don't know the composition of it. If there's not great. Um, Digestion, or just acids, I have no idea, and it doesn't matter, I don't need to know, all I know is that it works, so I'm going to take my dirt, I'm going to get it wet, obviously, I'm going to build a bit of a mix in here, because I want this thing to be soaked all the way through, um, so then, I'm going to fill this in here, um, about two thirds of the way, I guess. Oh, there's a rock in there. That's really hard deer poop. Anyways. Okay. So, that can all go back into the special bucket. Because it'll all dry out again, anyways. Pardon my arm. Okay, now the piece de resistance. The bean seed, which is almost brought to life. Almost. So close. Starting to sprout. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Hello. Cool. Alright. So, sprout side up. Down in there. Good. Try and get some of this without the rocks in it. I don't know where all these rocks came from. Whatever. It's dirt. It's 
It's all good. All right, so I'm going to bury that with about three quarters of an inch of dirt on top of it. Just like so. Now, because I want this thing to get rid of that, obviously we want it to grow. I'm just going to leave it in here for right now in this mixing container. I'm going to water it, obviously. So it drips out the bottom. Now I'm out in my workshop, so I'm going to take this inside. Because I don't like making a mess. Alright, so that's dripping through, so that's good. Now, I didn't think that was going to work, but I'm going to make a little greenhouse here as soon as that sprouts. Okay, so I'm going to need a freezer bag for that. But, anyways, So as far as the one seed challenge goes, I'm sown. Look for updates. Thanks for watching.